What is going on, crypto fam? I am about to show you one of the most powerful indicators on TradingView, and it is absolutely free. So if you guys want to boost your trading game, stay tuned because you are not going to want to miss this. The Spiper Academy, it's all going down. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special tutorial. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Tradefly, and I am actually a co-host on Piper Academy where we do a daily live stream during the week, 0930 Eastern. And on that show, we give you some of the most important market news as well as technical analysis that you can actually use. But enough about me because I know why you guys are here. So let's get into it. All right. So I'm gonna teach you how to use one of my favorite indicators on TradingView, and it is called the Dynamic Support and Resistance Zones by Chart Prime. But I'm sure you're wondering, what does it actually do? Well, this is a totally free indicator, and what it does is actually overlays support and resistance levels on your chart. So if you're new to reading charts, then this is really super beneficial to you because it will automatically identify those key areas of support and resistance. Now, if you're not new and you're a seasoned vet in trading, well, this could actually add confirmation to what you're seeing on the chart. One of the things I love to do is actually identify support and resistance zones by myself, but then I will turn this indicator on and it kind of validates what I'm actually seeing on the chart. But there's a key component to this is it actually overlays volume as well. So that'll give you a stronger indication of these levels if they're actually going to hold up. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how do you actually get TradingView? Well, it's pretty simple. You just go over to TradingView.com and you can sign up for an account completely free. Now, if you guys would like, you can use my links down below and that will take you there as well. And it'll help support me as a content creator. Now, the one thing that you need to know with a free account is that they will limit how many indicators that you can use at the same time. Once you have TradingView up and running, then you're gonna have to select an asset. And today we're gonna use Bitcoin or BTC. Once you do that search, simply pull it up on the chart. You're gonna come to a screen that looks a lot like this. But let's go ahead and pull up the indicator that we want to look at today. And that is going to be the chart prime dynamic support and resistance zones. Now, you can also do a search for chart prime. As you can see, chart prime has a ton of free indicator as well as paid for indicators. If you're interested in that, you can also go down to the links below and we can save you up to 45% by using our referral link. And that is a great great deal but i'm going to be honest with you chart prime has some of the best free indicators in the game right now on trading view feel free to go check them out because i'll tell you what you might really really enjoy them all right so easy peasy once you have dynamic support and resistance zones by chart prime up this is what you're going to see there will be many ways that you can implement this indicator into your trading strategy but i'm going to humor your add today i'll keep it pretty quick and i'm just going to show you the two changes that i make so here comes the secret sauce all right so you're going to head over to settings once you have settings open you're going to go to where it says waiting and over here to this little tab you're going to change it from linear to volume once you've selected volume all you got to do is scroll down where it says show distribution overlay and deselect that one right there. You deselect that and then you hit OK and voila, that's it. You might wonder why I chose volume. Well, volume actually represents the trading activity in relation to the area of support and resistance. So for me, volume is going to directly correlate to the likelihood that an area is actually going to hold up as support or resistance. Now, let's talk time frames. For me personally, I found the most success on the weekly, the daily, and the four hour. But don't worry, you can tweak the settings however you want and use whatever time frame you're the most comfortable with. But personally, as a swing trader, those time frames work best for me. So you're probably wondering, what are you looking for on the chart? Well, personally, I'm not just looking for the lines alone. I typically like to find some confluence. And what that is, is when different aspects of technical analysis line up. You could see moving averages, as well as the Fibonacci retracement tool, all lining up in the same spot with an area of support or resistance. 
Now, as a trader, that is one of the things that you really like to see because it just adds to that element of putting the statistical probability in your favor for one of your trades to play out. I'm not gonna go into a real deep dive on how I use some of these other indicators because that's gonna be a whole nother class in itself, but one of the best indicators to use is gonna be the Fibonacci retracement tool. All right, now onto the fun stuff and let's talk about what this indicator is actually depicting on the chart as an overlay. The first thing you're gonna notice is a series of red and green lines. You can see these areas of red are indicating resistance. The areas of green are actually indicating areas of support. Now, one of the things is pretty important to understand with this indicator is that these lines can repaint. So initially, this area right here that's indicated in red was green. As price action moved through that area of support, it then flipped it into resistance. You can see that indicator right here by the retest. Another important element of this indicator is these red and green circles. Red is indicating that an area of resistance was tested and it actually held up. You can see that there was no close above this area of resistance. Vice versa, you can see that indicated here with the green dots when it actually tested that area of support, it held up, but ultimately it then came back through and you can see it, it did not reprint a green circle and it has flipped this area of support now into resistance. This is very important, especially if you're looking to play these support and resistance levels as part of your trading strategy. All right, now that we've talked about the horizontal lines of support and resistance, let's talk about one of my favorite parts of this indicator and that's volume. You can see the volume here on the right side of the indicator and as it gets stronger or there's more volume, which means there's more trading activity in that area of support and resistance, you're gonna see it turn into this light blue color. That to me indicates that it is a pretty significant area of price action. All right, so let's shift over to the weekly and what I really want you to pay attention to are the red and the green dots. Now looking at this red dot right here, what this means is that when it came up to retest this area as resistance, it got rejected. And so let's go ahead and measure that. So from where it actually retested and broke down, down to the area of support was a 22% move. Now let's look at this area right here. You can see two red dots printed again, and it broke down and it went down to an area of support. Let's see what that move was. That was about a 50% move, which is pretty crazy, but we're gonna keep measuring these out because here's a couple more red dots right here. That's about a 18% move and you can expect the same thing right there because it came down to this area of support. Now it's not labeled here with the indicator but you can see right here there's a wick and then you can see support, support right there. So every once in a while you gotta do your own handiwork but overall, I mean an 18% move is pretty nice, right? So eventually, if you were to have gone long at this point, this thing took off, right? And you didn't see a rejection again until it got to about this area. Now, if you go back left on the chart, which is one of my big things, you will see there was an area of resistance here. It was support, resistance, uh, was support. So it kind of lines up with the area that the indicator is actually painting for you. And it did get a pretty nice rejection. So if you're measuring from there down to this area of support, again, about an 18% move. But check this out printed a green dot, we tested this area of support and then it took off and guess what? Bitcoin came all the way up to its new all time high, right? So from here all the way until it printed another red dot, look at this, this was about a 73% move. That's pretty crazy. Um, now I'm not saying that's how I actually use or implement this indicator, I just wanna show you the power of this indicator and it's, it's a really cool tool and you know it's something that i highly recommend i'm not going to say to use it as a sole source but i will say it's a pretty nice one to bring into your strategy especially if you're like me and you like to use support and resistance all right fam that about wraps it up if you enjoyed today's episode give us a like and subscribe we would truly appreciate that and don't forget to turn the notification bell on because knowledge is profit and we're always dropping that alpha here on this show so with that being said have a great one and don't forget, use a stop loss.